Hey everybody, welcome back to Thursday on Thursday. How many times have you had the client balk at the idea of paying you to deposit? How many times do you get to the end of a job and you only wish you had gotten that deposit at first? Today we're going to talk about collecting deposits. We have many clients that are adamant about collecting a 60% deposit on every job they sell. Since those jobs are usually around $26,000, that could be an enormous amount of money to most people. But securing it, even some part of that deposit, is a matter of principle. The reason is that when people invest in something, they tend not to go somewhere else. And also, that deposit you secure, it holds the place on the contractor's schedule for that client. When it comes to deposits, I will tell you, know what you can legally ask for. There's actually some states that regulate the amount of money or the percentage of the job that a contractor may request as a deposit. Most of our clients ask for the product cost up front and the labor cost when they finish. Some even ask for a percentage up front and then more divided out percentages throughout the entire job. So be consistent and build a deposit into your sales model. Asking for a deposit check may cause some stress. Understand why it's necessary. I used to tell homeowners that this is what our policy is and we can't put you on the schedule without a deposit. If the homeowner does not want to pay a deposit, that could be a red flag for the relationship of payments. It is a trust issue. Take them to a recent job and let them see your work in person at the job site that you did recently. Discuss the deposit as part of the overall payment plan. It's much easier to ask for a deposit in the context of the overall project payment plan. That makes sense to homeowners. Prepare to stand firm. However, much you, more you ask for, be sure you can explain why you need that amount. Awards, testimonials, they also help calm the client when asking for the deposit. Anything that makes you reputable in the business builds trust. Be creative. Commercial building managers budget for maintenance and repairs. Homeowners don't. So not everyone who needs a new roof or gutters or basement waterproofing can write a check, let alone reach for their wallet. Often that deposit may be more than they thought it was going to be. If homeowners want the work done but hesitate, it's up to salespeople to find out if the deposit is standing in their way. That starts a negotiating process. You need to find out when they can get it and write on the contract that a deposit will be mailed on or before that date. The company pulls permits and other materials after the deposit has been received. You have to be detailed in your contract to make sure there's no questions throughout the process. Choose your payment method. Many companies take deposits via credit card payment. That's convenient for homeowners, but it costs businesses two to 3%, sometimes even more in bank fees. State your preference. Don't assume that a written check is money. To Rose, it's not real money until it has moved through the bank. He won't order materials or pay a subcontractor before the check has actually cleared. Clients have asked if they can post date the deposit check or write to at different times in the week. That's an honest, upfront conversation. But the check that has, was written on the account that was closed or the one that bounced when no one told me there was that possibility, that tells me we have a trust issue. So build the relationship, build the trust, and get the deposit. The deposit takes your client off the market. They're married to you, so now it's time to take them on the honeymoon of renovation. See you next week.